friends. Four among those years, she was our sister. What did I just say? <laughs> and the mother, she was the mother of three married children, Lisa living in Rotten on Hudson. A week ago, I would have pronounced that Groton on Hudson. But That's, that that would have been right, too. No, Gr no Rotten Gratton, on Hudson. No, it's Gratton. Gratton yeah, is, is correct. The name I, of the I got that from the great the English yeah. master, John B. Devine. <laughs> uh, and uh, Lisa, living on Gratton Hudson, David, an attorney in Providence, and Ted, likewise, an attorney in Bethesda, Maryland. I had an email from all three today wishing us Godspeed in our task. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That was nice. And, uh, nice. and two of them said thank you to everybody there for helping put my mother to her final resting place. She passed away at the age of 79 on Sunday morning, January 27th, in Greenwich, Connecticut, in a Greenwich, Connecticut hospital from a leaking aortal aneurysm. For the last 10 years of her life, she suffered from emphysema and the onset of macular degeneration, which for her final five years left her almost totally blind. Honestly, she amazed me that she could keep going the way she did. Excuse me, you guys. And her mind and memory never faltered. Well, Our brother yeah. Tom helped her keep her financial affairs in order. Her only daughter, Lisa, living 40 miles away, kept a watchful eye on her health and doctor needs, and her close friends saw that she got out of the house almost weekly for lunch and some activity. So she lived a fuller life than might be expected with her infirmities. She maintained a keen interest in what was going on in the world, never missing the evening news, usually it was the Lair report, and she loved politics. <laughs> I never failed to get a strong response from her when I said something nice about Hillary Clinton. <laughs> that, was, that was one of her triggers that she could respond that's to something nice about Hil Hillary. That's why she'll never die. <laughs> <laughs> my sister Betty? or Hillary? No, no, no. <laughs> Hillary won't either. <laughs> Our sister Betty. I know it. Yeah. Always an inveterate reader, she listened to the entire inventory of books on tape which the yeah. Grand Public, Public Library delivered to her weekly. She had a good friend from her church who read to her from the New York Times every Sunday afternoon. In fact, he read, was reading to her the Sunday before she passed on. So that recently, she was in good shape, welcoming that kind of... Isn't that great, though? Pardon me, honey? I said, isn't 